for latest updates subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon close perimount close perimount appearing in a bill of lading subject the bill of lading issued in india to the provisions of a carriage of goods by ca act 1925 a close perimount is essentially a clause that incorporates a cargo liability jam usually the hague or a hague wisby rules that is the rules into the subject charter such clauses are necessary as under english law at least the rules are not compulsory applicable to the charter parties whether a close paramount should be included in a subject voyage or a time charter the general answer is yes a close paramount basically incorporates area of a cargo liability that is the hague or a hague wisby rules such clauses are necessary under the charter party shipments as these rules are not compulsorily applicable to charter parties accordingly where there is no compulsion to apply the rules a clear word of a incorporation of the rules are needed where the rules are incorporated in a charter party their application will apply to the cargo claims and shall benefit the defences as per the rules for the other claims it will also provide the owner one year time limit for claims for a goods loaded or to be loaded under the charter the word loss or damage in the rules are not necessarily restricted to physical loss of or a damage to the goods but can be extended to loss or a damage related to the goods such as extra tank cleaning cost pumping cost standby lifting equipments and or substitute cargo cost there is a difference between a nype form compared with a chelly time standard form the english courts have typically held that the nype form contains wider and more expensive incorporation clause than the selitam standard form incorporation of a clause paramount in the charter parties does not necessarily mean that the rules are incorporated the incorporation of a clause paramount may conflict with the other clauses and it is required to pay attention to other clauses also the incorporation of a clause paramount may conflict with other clauses and it is required to pay attention other clauses also if the clause paramount is successfully incorporated into the charter it may override other conflicting clauses by virtue of article 3 rule 8 of the rules but the article 3 rule 8 does not prevent from transferring from one owner to charterer the obligations and liabilities for loading stowage and discharge of cargo it has been held by the english courts that a general reference to a close paramount will give effect to the hague rules and not to the hague wisby rules however the court of appeal dismissed the argument that if the parties wanted the hague wisby rules to apply they would have made an express reference to it there are two basic differences between the hague and the hague wisby rules one the time limit to bring an indemnity clause under the hague rules the time limit for bringing an indemnity claim remains 12 months from the cargo delivery however under the hague wisby rules the time limit is 3 months after the claim has been settled or the person has been served with a process in the action provided the english law applies packet limitation the hague rules contain a limitation of pound 100 per package or a unit regardless of whether the bulk cargo is dry or wet however under the hague wisby rules it is equivalent to 666.67 units of account per package or unit or units of account per kilo of gross weight of the goods lost or damaged whichever is higher inclusion of a close per amount 
in a charter party is a matter of commercial risk and negotiation. It is not a prerequisite for P and I cover. It is always beneficial for the owner to have a close paramount incorporated in the charter party. For detailed learning of all logistics subjects, visit www.logivader.com.